So to look at the letter, your ideas are really good. And now perhaps we can think about how you would need to do it for a test. So the statement is, you want to go to the cinema, you need to write an email, you need to invite your friends to come with you. You've done all of that, which is a good start. And then we're answering what, when and where that might happen. Perhaps a little bit more information on that. And reply by Friday so that you can book the tickets. So what I did is I took your ideas and I've put them together in this email. So I'm going to read it through to you. First of all, we always begin with the word dear in a letter. We don't put hi. So your letter is going to begin dear and then where you've written friends that's great you can do that but i've suggested perhaps you could write some names so i wouldn't do more than two or three so dear tina chris and kate then the first thing you need to do remember you wrote your letter saying i hope I f you, this letter finds you in the best in health and spirit that's fantastic but you're doing this for an exam or a test and they expect you to write the first sentence while you're writing the letter. So this is what your first paragraph might look like. I'm writing to invite you to celebrate my birthday with me on July the 16th. I've decided it would be fun to watch a movie. So I would like all of us to go to the cinema to watch Blue Boy. And then when you go back to the marking scheme, then you're thinking about your first paragraph. When do you want to do it? July the 16th. What are you going to do? You want to invite your friends to go to watch Blue Point. So in your second section, uh, you talked about going together and you hope it would be fun. So I've used that idea, started off the second paragraph with, we can have a fun time together. And as the movie starts at eight o'clock, I think it would be a good idea if we met at Rotherham bus station at 7.30 on July the 16th. This would give us time to walk to the cinema. Then in that second paragraph, you've answered that second bullet point that says when you want it to happen at 8 o'clock. And I've actually included some details from the directions. Where is it going to be? It's going to be at the cinema. So to add that information for that bullet point for the directions, I've added on some more information to where you said uh, you think you'd have a pleasant time. And I've written, I'm sure that you will have a pleasant time and I will show you where Rotherham Cinema is once you have arrived in town. Please let me know by Friday if you're interested in coming as this will allow me to book the tickets and you put that information in your letter which is really important perhaps if I wanted to I could take this information please let me know by Friday and make a different paragraph it's a slightly different bit of information and to try and aim for that 150 words I write I wrote I do hope that you will come because that's what I would say if I was writing a letter to someone inviting them so just as I said in the plan, your letter would answer with something like, looking forward to hearing from you soon, all the best, Parry. And that letter will give you about 150 to 154 words. So it might be that you could leave out the words all the best, or you could leave out looking forward to hearing from you soon if you wanted to shorten the letter. What you'd written was really lovely. I think one of the things now to think about is how we write for a test. Do let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. Bye.